and also the new TV show. That is going to be a go no matter what. Obviously, it just isn't going to be an everyday show. Uh, you know, me and uh, Mr. Baker, who's become a really great friend of mine at East, uh, we're going to be working hard. Uh, you know, we want to put just not just my sports show, but tons of different shows for high, for high school kids this year. So we're really working hard at this. We want to make it great, and uh, that's that's what we're going to strive to do. And the sports show, uh, it's going to consist, I think we may, about about a half hour. It depends on what we have. Uh, I would like it to be an hour show filled with video footage, uh, you know, story tributes to people, uh, interviews with players, coaches, have breakdown, like, you know, at ESPN, whether it be me or someone, talk about the game Friday night and how East will look against that team, you know, whoever they're playing, et cetera, for any sport. I'm going to try to make it to volleyball, basketball, both basketball teams, football, wrestling, baseball, and I think – uh, later on that year, uh, that, that may be it for me. Uh, it's just those six or some sports that I picked. Obviously, I'm going to have a lot of help. Uh, you know, the two mod TV class, they're going to be helping me out, getting video uh, for things that they would be able to go to. Uh, but obviously, if you're on the cross-country team, if you're on another team, please contact me and let me know if you want to help out in any way because I need your help. I cannot be everywhere at once. I would like everyone to be really focused in on this TV show, but I need some help. And that's where you guys got to come in. If you're complaining that you're not getting any airtime or enough airtime on the show, it's because I don't have that much information about you guys, and you need to inform me about that. Don't act like a fake Purdue scout like someone already did. Actually contact me through the phone, call me, let me know what's going on, and we can work things out, no question. I'm looking very excited about that. Now, let's focus on the schedule for the end of the summer. Next week, Columbus East football players, look out because Luke Martin is going with you on your team camp. Yes, I know you're pumped now. I know now every football player, they're going to cancel their plans and go on the team camp because I'm going. Yes, that's why I'm going. Well, anyways, it's going to be featuring uh, with video features. It's going to be interviews with co players, coaches, etc. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to next week talking about this East football team. Look at them up close and personal. Uh, obviously, a lot of the guys I know personally as a friend, uh, and I, I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be great. And let's talk about this team for a minute, you know, since we got some time here and I'm doing my first video, I guess you could say, for East football. I think it's going to be a pretty good year. Uh, I think the defense is going to be solid. I really like a lot of key guys they got coming back. I like some of the young guys, which, you know, really aren't young anymore. They're all juniors, but I think really you need to keep an eye on uh, a guy on the defensive side. I heard John Hunter is moving the defensive line. Uh, he was supposed to be a running back, I believe. John told me he was going to be moving the defensive line. He's probably a guy. He's very athletic, very strong. He's pretty fast as well. I think keep an eye on him. But I also really like I, I liked him ever since I saw him last year in JV. And that's Eli Shetmer. Uh, Eli, one of the nicest kids you'll ever meet. But he's also one of the hardest hitters you can see. I'll never forget. He was actually on... Uh, my highlight reel entering the show uh, way back in uh, when I only did like a show every two weeks or something with that monstrous hit, and I just loved his celebration. That was pretty cool. But anyways, I think Eli Shetmer is a guy that you really need to keep an eye on. I think he's someone that is very under the radar. Not a lot of people are looking at, but he is someone that has a lot of talent and can make a big impact this year on this on this team on the defensive side of the football. On the offensive side, obviously, everyone pointing the Gunner Keel. And why not? Gunner's got a lot of talent. I think Gunner has the potential to be better than Dusty and better than Drew, his two older brothers. But you got to remember, Dusty and Drew had significant supporting cast. Drew had Stevie Brown, uh, and Dr Dusty obviously had Deweese Wilson, had Jamil McLaurin, running, had Nick Olds. Had a good offensive line. Do we had a real? And I'm sorry, Dusty had a great surrounding cast. Gunner, he has a decent surrounding class. The offensive line is really good, but I think the receiver position, like I said earlier, it has the potential to be one of the best ever in the Gattis area, if not the best ever. But it has so many question marks. You know, a lot of guys are going to be in the spotlight now. Shane Henderson's going to be in the spotlight after you know being under Deweese and Nick Old Shadow sort of bit. Uh, you know, Jackson Renshaw is another name to keep an eye on. Very tall, athletic kid, uh, uh, as well as Cole Kamen, who had a big year last year. I think the I think the wide receiver position is one of the strongest, but also has a lot of question marks. It's just a little weird. 
Uh, it's one of those positions I really like, but then yet again, you see the other side of the coin as well. But I think the wide receiver position is going to be fine. But the one point I want to hammer home, and the football players, I think, know this as well, too, is that plain and simple, the quarterback depth is a big concern. Uh, Dusty had Gunner to lean off of. Drew had Dusty to lean off of. Gunner has no one to lean off of. So it's going to be something. I don't know if it puts more pressure on Gunner to say, I better stay healthy. You know, remember he's coming off shoulder surgery. Uh, I don't know what that does, but if Gunner gets hurt, plain and simple, his backups are not, the, they're not going to be even close to getting this team to be an average football team. And, that, and, that's, and that's the truth. Uh, but maybe the offensive line being strong, uh, maybe anyone who sits behind that center uh, with average athleticism could be good. But who knows? I, re- I really like this team. Uh, I think they could do a lot. But the p- point I like to make, well, I don't like to make, which would be a great point, but this team, I think we're going undefeated through Hoosier Hills Conference. But they won't be near as good as last year's team. And uh, th- that just points to really how good last year's team was. But I still hammer home that point today. We may beat Columbus North week two of the year. But I'm telling you this, Columbus North, if we draw them for sectional yet again, they may beat us. Why? Well, Columbus North, look who they play week in, week out. Look who the Bulldogs go out on that field and play. They play the Indy schools and Pike, Lawrence Central, the Blo- both the Bloomington schools, Bloomington South, Bloomington North, while Columbus East, we play the Madison Bear Cubs. I mean, come on. It is a joke. The Hoosier Hills Conference is a joke. I'm sorry, but the teams we play are not that good. They're mediocre. Uh, really, the best team we play is Seymour. Seymour. If you're saying Seymour is the best team in your conference besides yourself, I think that is pretty pathetic in my eyes. Now, maybe this year will be one of those breakthrough years. I understand the point, such as the USC in college. People wonder why they get beat by like an Oregon State. Well, it's plain and simple. The conference teams see them a lot more. Same with Bedford. They always usually have a dangerous team. Floyd Central, et cetera, those long travel games may get east. But I'm telling you this, if this team keeps their head on their shoulders, if they stay positive, continue to get better, they will have no troubles with the Hoosier Hills Conference. I honestly think Coach Gaddis, and he won't, I don't know, he won't listen to me. I know he won't. He's a great friend of mine. I love him as a coach. He's won, he's won a lot more games than I have as a head coach. But I would let the guys play through the fourth quarter through most of the games. Why? Because when you start getting into a game like Cathedral and you got to play four quarters, your guys are tired. They're worn out. They're not used to playing four quarters. And obviously, why do you throw the ball in the second half when you're up like 55 nothing? Work on your running game, which is another point that we need to hammer home here. We don't have a great running game, and we really haven't. The, the East offense is the spread offense a lot like what Purdue runs, and I see Purdue a lot, and trust me, I know a lot of the flaws of the Purdue offense. When you get into that toast, when you get into those low-scoring games and you got to run the football, you're screwed because you can't do it. And that's something that East has really got to do. they got to find a running game because every championship football team, every championship football team, you look at it, they had a balanced attack. They could run the football they could throw the football. Look at the Pittsburgh Steelers. They could run it a lot, and yet Ben Roethlisberger, when he had to throw it, he could throw it. That's why they run the Super Bowl. I mean, they have great championship teams have both balance attacks, and that is something that East, especially now, will be going to 5A. If they want to be a championship football team, they got to have a balanced attack. they got to have it. Got to have a running game. Got to have a throwing game. And defensively, I think if the offense is good enough and they can put up, you know, 30 or more points, that defense is good enough to hold the opposing teams under at least 20 points. I believe so. We'll see what happens. I'm anxious to go to team camp, see what happens on player interviews, coaches' interviews throughout the week. Stay tuned to the webpage. I have all my gear ready to go. It's going to be a lot of fun next week at Hanover College. Once again, for the first time this year about Columbus East football, I'm stoked about it. I'm ready for Columbus East football to begin. I'm Luke Martin for the Luke Martin Show.